This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. You've been warned. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Scary Games, just for this month. Now, it's, I mean, this is in general a, you know, friendly channel, but it is scary game, so just keep in mind it's scary, and I always mark everything, it's not safe for children. But this especially, I just want you to remember, uh, if you know this game, you know. <laughs> it may look all cutesy and whatever, and that was the whole point. Uh, and when it came out and then like it turns out to be a horror game, but you saw the warning and I'm just gonna say it again This is not uh, a happy game It's not completely scary with like jump scares or anything. It's not like that. It's more like mental and whatever So if you're not into that Whatever and just be warned and we're not gonna do probably a whole playthrough unless people want it This is just a episode to have multiple scary games in and I thought this one be fun um, that being said, I guess we will get into it. Because they also, there, there is messed up stuff in this. Like, more so than just, hey, you know, you're shot a gross zombie and it's gross and blah, blah, blah. You kind of, whatever. This one is psychologically messed up. So, anyway, just warning. Here we go. The like, subscribe, comment. Comment if you played this game and if you thought it was horrifying. <laughs> like so many have. I think this is Sayori? No. I can't think of remember their names. I know one Sayori. This is not Sayori. It's the other one that starts with an S. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she just doesn't care. She's totally obvi obviously to any attention. She that girl's Sayori. Oh, it is Sayori. No, I, I remember this crap. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. I don't have any of those. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, golly, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh <laughs> and I did in idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori ca catch up to me. <laughs> I overslept again, but I caught you this time. <laughs> oh, by the way, my name is Splurm. <laughs> maybe, but only maybe. Oh my god. I got thrown off by my own name. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Splurm. It's not. Th well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't know what you want to think we're a couple or something. That's fine. I'm fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have have it to be mean. I cannot read today. I've had like 40 cups of coffee. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> Across the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Splamp, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? Like Turkey? <laughs> I told you already I'm really... I, I told you... God damn it! <laughs> I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. Just the sandwiches. I haven't been looking either. Either. Eh, that's not true. You you told me you would join a club this year. Did I? Oops. <laughs> Big oof. I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. She's just talking and trying to have a conversation and you're all staring off into the distance. Yeah. <laughs> just saying yes to everything. Sayori so likes to worry a little too much about me, but perfectly content just getting by on the average while I... S by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Okay, that's the other thing. Some of these translations are weird. So if I get confused, 
Just know it's because it didn't actually make sense. Uh, it is talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Hell made me hit you it's for your own good. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Shing! <laughs> Pulls out a kitchen knife. All right, all right. God, just put the knife away. We're in public in the middle of the day. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. You at least promised me you're, you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. <laughs> Whatever. Yay! Neat! Why, why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relate to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, but... Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. You know, like humans do. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. My inner head voice sounds like this now. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Like turkey, bacon, roast beef. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Thought you were dead. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm a mess. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. <laughs> know what? Or that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Meanie. Sayori is vice president of the Literature Club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice a President. That said, my interest in literature, in literature is guaranteed to be even less. You realize that manga and anime and stuff is literature. You goof! Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, tiny house. I kind of told the guy I have such tiny hands. <laughs> and a big head. <laughs> I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's cunning as to have planned all of this out. Probably a little both. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by it for a cupcake, okay? <laughs> that sounds pretty dope. Yes! Let's go! You stupid freak. You're just in it for the cupcakes, aren't you? And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings up at the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you... I, I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you, girl one. Sayori always, say always says nice things about you. I didn't, I, okay, it's girl one. Yuri? I think that's her name. And that's Natsuki. Hey, seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Oh, that's probably breaking the mic. Ah, Splimph. What a nice surprise. 
Welcome to the club. Um. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Oh, <laughs> What are you looking at? <laughs> oh, I can't keep that up for Natsuki, but it fits so well with our personality. If you want to say something, say it! <laughs> Sorry. Natsuki? <laughs> Girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Yes, where are the cupcakes? You can't... Oh, that's Sayori. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. She's always moody, Sayori says that. Quietly into my ear. Wow, oh god, they need to put in my name. Why put Splurm for over it? Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. She also has a very similar voice to the one in my head canon. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Splurm. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. It'd be more endearing if she wasn't a robot. Hint, hint. We don't. <laughs> we do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so generally feels a little like. I'm passing out. You too, Monica. <laughs> Come on, sit down, Splare. We made room for you at the table. You can sit next to me or Monica. Make the right choice. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited with my tiny hands. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sarah mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you guys freaking ready? Ta-da! Uh, wahoo! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. I can't eat them, it's too adorable. It feels like a mistake to ruin it. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. A uh, so cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. I'm still processing. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Just having to take one before I eat them all with my one sharp tooth. Sorry grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sorry talks with her mouth full. Oh, sorry. <laughs> her mouth full and all has managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Oops, there goes an ear. Natsuki's quiet. I can't but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. Tastes like a sweet, full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Didn't she say she made them herself? This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thinking me? It's not like a... I haven't heard this somewhere before. Made them for you, anything? Uh, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe! <laughs> but not for you, you know, you dummy! Alright, alright, God. I don't think I'm joining this club. Kinda fucking sucks. <laughs> the 
give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table and carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before settling down, setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set? You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? What's a book? I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. You're always just trying to impress you. What? what? Oh, that's... that's not... Insult... insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So... Let me scan you. Hmm. Seems your heart's beating a little fast. So what made you consider the literature club? Um... Are you scanning me? <laughs> I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep altering. <laughs> I'm actually dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home. Oh, okay. What's happening here? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make sure make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I am surprised for a lot of things. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the other major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like not like much or eating, but the budget and publicity and how to prepare the for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Resetting. And if encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader, and she doesn't take your brain or anything. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it in that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all of the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like literature. <laughs> Zero. I'm back. Um, you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? You're all going to die down here. Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Brain sucking. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of, uh, idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I could keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Splurmf. What kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? <laughs> I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep in complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on a clearly passionate 
It, 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 Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. <sighs> she seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like lots of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can do de so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, huh, I read horror book. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp at something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. I sucked your brain for someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, but only for a brief moment. Eh, I hate horror. Oh? Why is that? Well, I just... Atsugi's eyes dot over to me for a split second. Never mind! That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? <laughs> what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It, it looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say how loud, you stupid... You freaking... <laughs> I'll stab you! Give that back! <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just so cute as you are. Sorry sidles up behind Atsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! <laughs> Atsuki, do you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! She averts her eyes. You wouldn't make them! Uh, I'm not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up and to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have a writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe. If I share some of your work... Oh, wait, that's still Monica. Did she, I mean, she did a question. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I share some of your work, you can set an example for Natsuki and feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's t the same for Yuri. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Oh? Now Tsuki and Yuri, Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. And <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Plus, now we have a new member. I think I'll help. It will help all of us get more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Splurp? Hey, you said my name right. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Uh, hold on. There's still one problem. I didn't join. Eh? What's that? Now we're back to the original topic of me joining the club. I've only come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. Are you a fucking robot? <laughs> I never said I, was, <laughs> I would join the club. Sorry may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. <laughs> All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, 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 but. I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> Splurf. You are all. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like that? 
That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. <laughs> right? Uh, okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Especially Monica's. Like, like, she's scanning me or something. Yes! I am, yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> Sari wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. <laughs> you really did scare me for a moment. I like horror. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. You're going to die. Please enjoy this pamphlet on how I will suck your brain and turn it into data. Uh, thanks, I guess? Okay, every more. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Smarten up those delicious brains of yours. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we all can share. Mono look, Monica looks over at me once more. Splamph. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Executing laugh.exe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, what did I do? Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel like. feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Or maybe that's just a tranquilizer dart that came out of Monica's finger. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Hatsuki clean up their food. Hey, Splamp! Since we're already here, you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never, never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yori, and of course, Monica. What? Why did I say it like that? Would I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have to change it to grow closer to one of these girls. <laughs> nice. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh! <laughs> So, oh god, no. Something good might happen if whoever likes your poem, your poem the most. Oh, jeez. Uh, where's the, um... Not, like, highlighted. I... I don't... Oop. Okay. No, no, it's... I get it. There's a lot of words, but... The thi okay. So as far as I know, I didn't write a poem. But... There we go. Oh, was I... I was supposed to hit the option button, I guess? Anyway. Hi, I can splint. I'm ending it here. Pretty weird. I'll go right there. Just in case I mess up, at least there's multiple slots. There's a lot of slots. Yeah, so this is this game. It's pretty weird. And obviously, it eventually, it's scary. Like I said, everyone knows at this point what it is, pretty much. Um, nothing super scary or creepy. It was a little foreshadowing of certain events, but it's hilarious. It comes off, especially at the end right there of that chapter, or day, whatever it is, it comes off as like one of those stupid dating simulators, <laughs> but it goes very dark, no matter what girl you pick. Uh, so anyway, I thought this would just be a funny little one-off, and it destroyed my mind trying to read all of that so fast in different weird, stupid voices. After so much coffee and... Having to get really close to the TV so I could actually see what was happening. So, uh, yeah, we're going to stream later. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. 
hit the bell, do the things, and I'll see everybody next time. Maybe on Doki Doki Literature Club? Maybe not, but definitely more horror and scary games, and definitely more Resident Evil. Oh, and we're going back to the... So yeah. Uh, oops. Bye, everybody.